my name is Susie Singer Carter. I'm an award-winning filmmaker and podcast host and producer. And I'm a mother, a daughter, a sister, a friend, and I am my mother's caregiver. And she has Alzheimer's. It was fairly obvious when my mom was, you know, no longer able to be uh, independent. She was getting lost when she was driving. We, the family, started to notice her repeating conversations within the same five minutes, and we just. We started to, to really take it seriously. After my stepfather passed away, they were, you know, a, a great couple and really supportive of each other. I realized that my mom could not, she really couldn't function on her own and nor did I want her to. And I wanted to sort of help her get through this chapter of her life without abandoning her. I uh, petitioned to be her conservator of person. And my brother said he would handle her trust and he, Unbeknownst to me, he had my mom and my stepfather before he passed away sign over both of their individual wills to a living trust. You know, when she had the lucid moments like they do, she was appalled that my brother had full control of her money because I literally could not write a check. I had to run it by him and I was often denied. I think my biggest mistake was handing that fully 100% over to someone else because as someone's caregiver, it's really important to know what they have in terms of their finances, what you have to help them have a very good quality of life and how long you can extend it. The hardest part about being a caregiver I would, for me, is maybe different than someone else, right? We all have different strengths. I think um, for me, it was trying to make my mom's life be the best that it can and, and not feeling like I was doing enough. And so putting too much pressure on myself to, to make it perfect. At one point, my mom said to me when she was living with me, she lived with me for a year after my stepdad died, and she said, you have to live your life. You have to put me in a home. And I looked at her and I said, oh, you're going. <laughs> but not yet, you know, because, and I don't think I would have done it if she hadn't have given me permission, but you need to give yourself permission to live your life too. There, there's so much reward in being a caregiver, I can't even tell you, like there's nothing that can make anybody happier than helping someone else. And even if that's like a moment, like a moment in time and you've, you've touched them and you've, you've made a difference, it's, it's, it's unbelievably satisfying and, and enriching and it's it's better than anything. And I think my ability to to finally lean into this disease with my mom has been so instrumental in, in helping other people, like friends and my children, to really understand the importance of being there and and holding hands, helping someone cross over the bridge, whatever bridge they're crossing over, like it's you have to live it to understand it but but the reward that you get from it is it's just massive